it comes to the topic of celebrity doppelgangers, lookalikes, twin strangers, for the most part, I don't think I've ever truly really agreed with any comparison that has ever come up for me. Usually when people are telling me that I look like someone, the only prerequisite is has red hair. And that's about it. However, that changed recently. And spoiler alert, it is not the person that is mentioned in the title of this video. So who is it, you might ask? Well, I started getting these comments on my videos that were blowing up that I look like a specific pop singer named Chapel Roan. Now, I had never heard of Chapel Roan, so I, of course, was very curious, and I looked her up. And to my surprise, we do actually look alike. But as you might have surmised by reading the title of today's video and looking at the thumbnail, this video is not about Chapel Roan. It is about a different redhead that I definitely look nothing like, Florence Welch. Now, even though she is a redhead and we look nothing alike, there has been a little bit of a comparison that has been drawn between me and Florence, and that is there are certain aspects of my style that have reminded people in my life of Florence, specifically her stage outfits. Now, Florence's style is extremely ethereal. I would describe her as a mythical fairy queen slash goddess, both in the way that she dresses and also the way that she sings. Now, I'm not a Florence Welch or Florence to the machines stan i probably could only name a few songs on my hands however i do enjoy her music and throughout this week i will endeavor to listen to more of it as i get in the mood to dress up because this week i have challenged myself to try and dress like florence welch for an entire week so let's talk the style of florence I have put together a Pinterest board, or rather it's a section of my fashion board. Ooh, I like that. And in preparation for this week, I have been saving as much inspo as possible. A lot of these outfits are from her concert looks, but there's also some everyday casual looks as well. So me and Florence definitely have different body types. She is more long, lean, and tall, whereas I am more hobbit-shaped. So when it comes to her dresses, they're usually very long and flowy, flowy sleeves, lots of lace, lots of sheer fabrics. She is also not a stranger to the plunging neckline. However, I will stay away from plunging necklines or at least try to mitigate that because if I try to do that, I will put someone's eye out. I would say when it comes to designers, very much gunny sacks and gunny sacks adjacent, lots of 70s Stevie Nicks silhouettes. But when it comes to colors, she very much much likes her greens. There's also a lot of jewel tones. So these are the inspirations that I used in order to look through my closet and find pieces that I can use. There is one item that I bought in preparation for this, and there is one item that I thrift flipped. Technically didn't cheat. Now here's the thing. I don't get out much. You guys see my style videos, you see my thrift hauls, and you might think that I have loads of occasions to wear these things too, or I dress aesthetically every day. But let me be real with you, I don't. In fact, I dress more like this. In doing this, I really wanted to make sure I actually have places to go when wearing these outfits because it's one thing to dress up fancifully and walk around the house and watch Netflix and play Animal Crossing while looking like a indie pop star. <laughs> But you know what? This wouldn't be that fun if I was just being my hermity self. So I actually plan this around a week where I actually have activities planned. And today's activity was I had a whatnot show. So like five people saw my outfit. So come here. Let's 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 go over to the clothing rack, shall we? So these are the pretties that I put on my rack. You will notice that there are a few jackets in here. Will I get an opportunity to wear them in this fine October? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. When I put these outfits together, I'm gonna try not to make them one for one recreations. First of all, I don't think I could. Pretty sure her pieces are designer or custom made. However, there are a few outfits that are kind of recreations, but I wouldn't call them like Florence cosplay, but I definitely drew heavy inspiration from a few of the pieces that I really liked. And then there's like a straight up medieval costume in here. If I really wanted to commit to the bit, I'd wear this thing. So besides a couple of the dresses, I haven't quite set aside specific outfits yet. I just set up my clothing rack with pieces that I'm going to reach for to put together outfits every single day. Because sometimes outfits feel and look different when you actually put them on your body on the day that you're actually going to wear them. So I wanted to inspire myself to be creative with this every day rather than just put together seven outfits ahead of time. So the other thing is that I didn't quite follow through with my plan 
plans on this very well. I kind of forgot. I planned on starting this on a Thursday so that I could finish on a Wednesday and then have time to finish up the edits and then get it out on Thursday, but I forgot. <laughs> And I'm starting today on a Friday, so I'm either going to be editing at the last moment or I'm gonna have to squeeze in an extra outfit on one of the days so that I can get a full week's worth or seven days worth of outfits. So we will see. Here is today's outfit. I just did something super easy. It's a maxi dress, it's lace, very much whimsical Florence vibes. Although if it was more Florence, it would have longer, floofier sleeves, but I'm working with what I have. I would say the one thing that I don't like about this outfit is that because of its length it is a tripping hazard welcome to day two this dress is by nataya or nataya i'm not sure how to say the brand and please ignore how dead i look i'm pretty sure i have some foundation on my lips which makes me look undead this fine day i neglected my plans because i felt like absolute doo-doo but we decided to go out anyways and enjoy the pile of clothes i tried on before deciding on this dress because i hated everything on me and for hair i've seen florence rock the milkmaid braids and it's an easy updo that i like to do so i did that and then we're off to old sack for costume mansion shenanigans Look at this distinguished gentleman. This could be us. We could be wiener dog owners. I'm guessing you want that. Cute. I wish I could. 15 bucks. It's a lot for a mug. But this will not fit nearly enough coffee to get through the day. Look at my new camera lens. It's like. Ooh. So cute. It says $35. And look at these up here. Mm, that's actually really cool. Oh, I like this mug. What does it say? Be down to earth. No, I think you should be Delulu. This is the only saint that I will accept. Beat the devil out of him. Oh. <laughs> Here comes the bull. It's a trap. There's a... I've got my eye on you. Oh, I could do better. On to day three. This outfit is inspired by this stage outfit of Florence because I thrifted the base of this dress last year. It didn't have the epic lace sleeves and I wanted them to so I got this cream lace bolero and I Frankensteined it onto the dress after dyeing it. Then I just had to seam rip the old sleeves off and then cut off the new ones. And for this I opted to cut above the shoulders instead of seam ripping them off because I was afraid it was going to unravel the lace. Now I doubt my stitches are beautiful. They're probably atrocious but you know what? Shut up. I ended up up wearing it with a vest because I liked it better. It was a little bit shapeless on my waist without it, but I think it still captures the essence of Florence with the floofy sleeves and the collar, so I really like it. Whoops.
for one of these so it? it's not for sale they had one displaying the scarves at the cancer society um thrift store um and it was also not for sale I'm like i am looking for one of those yeah yeah i got a few of these last time So I would definitely say that today's outfit was a big hit. I got a lot of compliments as I walked around the antique fair. I feel like this is like the perfect outfit to wear to that kind of occasion. The only downside is that it is still freaking hot in Sacramento. But real quick, let me show you what I found. First, this is the only big item that I found and I think the handles are actually backwards, but I got another one of these wall tapestries. I previously found like a red one at an estate sale last year, I think. And then the rest of what I found today is mostly jewelry or trinkets. First, there is this little fairy. She is very dirty. She needs a good clean, but also I think she needs a repaint, but I don't mind that because I like to be crafty, so I might repaint this. Next, it's also kind of a fairy. She's on a little moon and her wings are made of leaves. And this is a little pendant. I've mostly been looking for pendants instead of pins. I did, however, find this pin. It is a little ax with a green stone in it. I actually thought maybe my husband would like this. He could use it to like clip onto a tie or clip onto his collar or something. He likes stuff like this. And then I got this cute little leaf charm to go on a necklace. My mom actually had a set just like this when I was a kid. She had earrings and she had a necklace. And you know me, I love my force motifs. And then I did get the little pumpkin. Thought it was so cute. It has both gold and silver, so it's very versatile. And then this little piece, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be for, but it's a little clip. And it actually matches a brooch that I got a long time ago, like the little hand clip. But then there's a little hook here to hook it onto something. So I'll have to do some research to see what this is for, but I thought it was really cool. I love like the Victorian brass hands, like those clasp belts. I've been wanting to get one for a while. And then lastly, I'm not gonna take this out of the bag because it's dirty, but it looks like a little, little acorn jar. I have a friend that makes little acorn jars, so this kind of reminded me of her, but I might use this in my fall Renaissance Fair outfit. I just need to give this a good soak because this might have been for perfume or something and it's dirty and I don't want to touch it with my bare hands. So yeah, that wraps it up for day three. I actually might do one more outfit today if we go to Trader Joe's because I don't want to wear this because I've already sweated through it. So I guess you'll find out. Okay, so we didn't go to Trader Joe's this night. We just ended up going over to my husband's parents' house for dinner, but we do go to Trader Joe's the next day. This outfit is a little bit more tame. I didn't want to be a spectacle in the Trader Joe's because we're going to Trader Joe's in the middle of the day and they are usually freaking busy and I was already gonna be overstimulated. So I did something pretty comfy, but still pretty cute. And I still think it's something that Florence might wear just maybe a little bit longer. And I wore my trusty Doc Martens, which I'm probably wearing with every single outfit. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to get some soup. She did not, in fact, get soup. Next, this outfit is directly inspired by this photo. I didn't have anything super close, but I stuck to the textures and the colors. And unfortunately, I don't have anything exciting to vlog to show you guys on this day. It's a pretty chill day where I'm just catching up on some administrative things and applying for jobs on LinkedIn. Bachelor's degree required for $15 an hour. 
What the f For the last day, I wanted to make sure that I wore the dress that I specifically bought for this week of outfits. So I am wearing this dress right here, which I got off of ASOS or ASOS, however you're supposed to say it. And this dress is kind of special to me because one, when I was going through the reviews, someone had specifically mentioned that it reminded them of Florence and that kind of sparked an interest in me to get it. Now, this was months ago and I texted a picture of the dress to a couple of my friends and was like, hey, what do you think? Should I get this dress but in my heart I was like I really like this dress it's really speaking to me there's something about it like I feel like it's me but unfortunately I allowed my friends to talk me out of it so I didn't get it and then when I thought of the idea to dress like Florence for a week I thought of the dress again and for a little bit I couldn't find it and I was really sad I tried to find it second hand still couldn't find it and I was kicking myself for allowing myself to be talked out of it especially since the two friends that talked me out of it aren't really talking to me anymore after all of my changes and things. So yeah, that was kind of sad, but I persevered and I eventually found it. It was back on the ASOS website and there was one left and it was on sale for half off. And guess which size it was that they had left? Yes, it was my size. So it was meant to be. So I swiftly ordered it just in time for it to come for this week. Now you might be wondering, what occasion are you wearing this glorious gown? Literally just staying at home and editing this video. I did have plans to go thrifting today with my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law, but unfortunately my mother-in-law is feeling under the weather, so we decided to postpone our thrift trip. Not that I would wear this thrifting anyways, because it's a little bit too excra- excra- It's a little too extravagant. I actually would really love to do a photo shoot with this. I think it would look really good with my fall flower garland or what, um, flower crown with pumpkins and leaves on it. Yes, it may not be practical for the everyday person, but <laughs> I'm a little extra and I like my gowns, I like my fairy dresses. I definitely feel like a forest fairy queen in this. Now, it's a little bit booby. That was one issue I had. It came buttoned up a little bit, but it kind of squishes my boobs a little bit when I button it. So I have to wear it open. So I had to improvise. I found this slip. In order to wear a bra with this, this was necessary. Otherwise, you can see like half of it. So what are my takeaways from this week of dressing like Florence Welch for a week? Or rather, picking out things from my closet that that vaguely remind me of Florence for a week and forcing myself to actually dress in outfits every day. Well, I think it was a really fun thing to do. It wasn't easy. I did struggle a little bit with my mental health this week, so it did get me out of my funk a little bit. I think I might do something like this in the future. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. And I think I'm gonna try to dress like Florence more often. I actually have quite a few pieces that I didn't even get to use and outfit ideas that I had, and I'm probably gonna continue to wear them throughout the week until I go to the Ren Fair. Which, by the way, I'm going to a Ren Fair at the end of the week. I'm so excited. I'm going to be vlogging that, and that is going to be the next video if I get it edited in time. Thank you guys for sticking around and hanging out with me this week. Unless I think of anything else that I'm going to edit in later, um, I will see you guys next time. Bye! Whoa, I almost hit the, 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 what do you call it, the hair light. Okay, bye. Bye!